This afternoon, our chairman, Pastor Dr. Adidayo Ekong, will address you. She's going to be talking about things that are happening in Lagos State, in Nigeria, and in the whole party. You're welcome. Thank you, Publicity um, Secretary. Good day to you, our distinguished friends and gentlemen of the press. Today, on the state of our dear nation, Nigeria, in the aftermath of the judgment of the Supreme Court delivered on the 26th of October, 2023, on the appeal filed by our presidential candidates in the just concluded presidential election, alongside our great party, the Labour Party. Let me start by quoting the Christian holy book in the Psalm, chapter 11, verse 3, which says, If the foundation is destroyed, what can the righteous do? May I equally say, if the judiciary, which is supposed to be the last hope of the common man, is overrun by the executive, what is the future of democracy? Our legal system is supposed to be the cornerstone of justice, a system designed to protect our rights, ensure fairness, and maintain order in our society. When this system fails to deliver a just and equitable outcome, the consequences are far-reaching and the very fabric of our society is torn. The Lagos State is deeply worried about the recent judgments that emanated from the highest courts of the land and one of the most critical embodiments of democratic institution, saddled with the responsibility of dispensing justice without fear or favor. I say without fear or favor. In this instance, who are directly affected by the ruling who suffers? But the entire nation suffers. The ruling that happened concerns everybody. The of our justice system and eroded the trust that citizens play plays in it. The ripple effect of this great injustice has not only robbed every single Nigeria that break the odds to come out and cast their votes of their rights and dignity, but also sends a chilling message to all citizens that the system can fail them. The echoes of injustice will be a true time and the effect felt for years to come. Because definitely our democracy has been thrown into the gutters. It has created in our youths, in Nigerians, a sense of disillusionment and injustice. Young people who are supposed to be a nation's most valuable assets have been left questioning the very principle upon which our legal system is built. Pri principles like fairness, equality, and due process. This is really sad. This is really sad and a time for us to sit back and reflect on the future of this country. A nation where our youths have lost faith in the fairness of the courts will result in them less likely to report crimes, corporate with authority or even engage in peaceful and lawful activity out of the fear that the system will fail them. That is the message they are sending to the youth. 
the government of the day is creating a monster that will be difficult to tame in years to come. They have laid a blueprint for the younger generation to learn from the replicates. It sends a message that some individuals are less valuable or less deserving of justice simply because of their race, their gender, their socioeconomic status, or other factors. These, in turn, foster resentment, mistrust, and division within our society. To hold those responsible for unfair rulings accountable, and to work tirelessly to ensure that justice is not just a concept, but a reality for every citizen. I say this today for all to hear. We at Labour Party are not deterred, but rather even more determined to ensure that the event of the election cycle will never repeat itself. We shall continue to stand behind our youths in their agitation for a better and more just society that works not just for a few, but a society that works for all. The economy is in a terrible state. Yet, our so-called leaders are busy spending and wasting the little we have less left. Should we talk about the indecent and morally unjustifiable funds being spent on frivolous purchases of the legislative or huge amount being given to the judiciary, ju judicial council? Or is it the over half a million dollars allegedly spent on hotels and at entertainment at the last summit in the United States? The list of reckless spending goes on and on. This is sad. It is really sad. A nation where multi-dimensional poverty is at its peak. No safety net for citizens. And yet, our so-called leaders still live in luxury. This is what we are talking about. Those that decide to keep quiet about all this injustice being meted out should remember that we will all feel the crunch one way or the other. We will definitely feel it. What goes around must surely come around. We at Labour Party, we continue to speak up and history will vindicate us. I say history will vindicate us. Amen. I want to now go to the issue that happened recently. That some group of imposters have been going around town parading themselves as the leadership of Labour Party in Lagos State. This renege group is led by one Olumide Adesoni, who to the best of our knowledge still remains a suspended member of the party. He is a suspended member of the party. Labour Party Lagos State was reliable, reliably informed that these imposters went to the palace of the Reverend Oba of Lagos, Oba Rinwa and Akiolu, and illegally posed as the leader of Labour Party in Lagos State. For the avoidance of doubt, we want the states to state categorically, and for you to know the following points. Mr. Olumide Adesoyi was suspended indefinitely from the Labour Party in March 2023, following his acts of anti-party committed 
committed during the presidential and gubernatorial elections held on the 25th and March 18, 2023. Labour Party Lagos states, as a law-abiding entity, had taken Mr. Olumide Adesoy and his courts, including Alaji Bashiru, Lamidia Papa, who claims he is, he is his national <coughs> chairman of Labour Party, to the Federal High Court for the Federal Act, for their acts of impersonation. There is only one chairman in Labour Party, yes. the national, and that is Barrister Julius yes. Abuye. The Federal High Court, via a valid interim order of the injunction made by Justice Obiago on the 17th of July 2023, restrained them from parading themselves as the leader of the party nationally and at the state level. That order has not been vacated and the matter adjourned to the 15th of January, 2024, for further hearing. In view of the above, <coughs> Labour Party Labour State will commence content proceedings against Mr. Olumide Adesoy and his courts immediately to show them that no man is above the law. The only legally recognized leadership of Labour Party in Labour State he is the one led by Pastor Dr. Mrs. Dayo Eko with the State Secretariat at 59 Oduduwa Way, GRA, Ikeja, Lagos. We urge the public to discountenance this false information being put out by Mr. Olumide Adesoyi urging the members of the public to visit any other location for registration as new members of the Labour Party Lagos State. Papa are not the state chairman or national chairman of Labour Party respectively. Like I said earlier on, Barrister Julius Abure remains the authentic national chairman of Labour Party and Dr. Mrs. Pastor Dayo Ekong, the only Lagos State Chairman of Labour Party. Thank you for listening. God bless. God bless Labour Party. God bless Lagos Labour Party. And God bless Nigeria. Thank you. I don't know if we have questions, we can take five minutes. Please note five minutes of questions. If you have questions, please identify your media and ask your questions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairperson. My name is Yeme Adele, I report for the News Agency of Nigeria. And uh, the first part of your address talked about the judiciary, the the judgment I was given a few days ago. Some people are of the, are of the opinion that the Labour Party is crying foul, um, trying to discredit the judgment of the Supreme Court because they did not favor the party. But the, there are some judgments that have been given in the state, even upon federation, that these justices of the Supreme Court or other levels of courts have favored your party. They wonder uh, why. The party is, in a way, trying to say that the justice of the Supreme Court uh, perhaps in the judgment given. What exactly do you think is the way forward for your party at this point? What is the new step you will be taking after the judgment has been given? And the second aspect of the of the of the of the, of the, of the address has to do with the recurrent impulse talk. We have, covered, we have come here about three or four times covering, I mean, I mean where, where you're saying the same, the same thing. So I want to know the helpful practically now that these, the Labour Party is making to, to bring everybody house, it house together. So that at least, 
there will be there will be peace in the party. You said that you'll be taking, you'll be finding a, a content of, I mean, a, a, you comment the content of courts. We have, we have, we have comment that. already in content proceedings. Proceedings. Yes. Okay, what, what do you think that is the way to go at this point that the party needs to, to come together? That, those are my questions. That, uh, it's obvious that we have people who are doing the bid of their master because of what they have collected. There's no doubt in our mind, a majority of obedience, that these people are not working for Labour Party. They are not working for Labour Party because they have been involved in anti-party activities that has affected the party. And the likes of Olumide are they saw you. Is use this. Let me say, is using this means to defraud the innocent public. That is all they are concerned about. Anything money is what they are concerned about. But Labour Party represents a people's party that is concerned about the welfare of the people. It's not about money-making business for anybody. Impersonation is a serious offense, as you are all aware. And that is exactly what they are doing. It will not be tolerated if he has been suspended indefinitely he has no right to be going about claiming he's the chairman of Labour Party. That is, he is an imposter, and it will not be tolerated. Not only this, he has nothing good to offer, and what they have been sent to do is cause confusion in Labour Party, and we're not going to fold, fold our hands and allow them to continue. I think we've tried to reason things out with them, but it's obvious that they do not want to hearken to the voice of reasoning. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. On the issue of, if you look at what happened in the judiciary concerning Labour Party, we have tried in so many ways to make sure went to court. And as you are aware, not only LP, Labour Party went to court. PDP also went to court and some other parties. And what are the channels that the justice or the judges have used? in throwing out a case as important as this, a case that borders on the future of even generation of war, a case that borders on what the youths are seeing. How do we now expect them to act right when the so-called justice system has failed them. This is what we are talking about. On the issue of what we are going to do, we'll get back to you. We're working on something, and we'll let you know as soon as possible. Thank you. Yes, please. You talked about your disenchantment with the outcome of the event, I mean, with the outcome of uh, the uh, judicial, uh, should I say, intervention that your party sought. Yeah. Can we know in specific terms what areas do you actually have grabs against the judiciary, not just the Supreme Court, but the judiciary as well? Yeah. In specific terms, what your expectations were and what eventually turned out? 
We have a constitution in this country, and we expect that constitution to be like our Bible. We have a president that is supposed to be a role model to Nigerians. And the so-called person is involved in certificate scandal. And the FBI, we're going to release their findings. So what was all that rush about, giving judgment? on the 26th. If they have nothing to hide, they could have waited. There's a question mark on the credibility of the certificate that was tendered. Also, the issue of 25% for FCT, you cannot obtain and disregard what is stipulated in the Constitution concerning winning election, which was 25% of including FCT must be included. It's clearly stated. You are telling Nigerians that they are fools and they can go to hell by implication. If the justice system cannot hold forth the right judgments and do the right thing, then there is a problem in this country. And that was why I said that our democracy has been thrown into the gutters. If we have to continue by this with this. And the issue of intimidation, harassment, locking people's shops, and I mean it cannot continue. If you think in Labour Party we're going to keep quiet, then you've got it gotten it all wrong. Because we will not rest on our oars until the right thing is done in this country. That is what we're talking about. Thank you. Thank you.